You know, we've spent some time on this show talking about the incredible services that Care Patrol of West Michigan offers local residents considering assisted living. Today, kind of going to focus on how they can help you pay for it all. You know, there are some great resources available to those that might need some help in affording assisted living. And joining us this morning to help with that, we've got the Director of Business Development from Care Patrol, Nick Wake, down there, along with Liz Barnett, who is the Outreach Specialist with the Area Agency on Aging of Western Michigan. Hi, Liz. Hi, Nick. Hi, Tom. Oh, lots mm -hmm. of words out there. All right, so here we go. Let's talk about some of these resources. Yeah. Oh, obviously, Nick, welcome back. We've, we've talked about the great things you guys do. Yeah. How can we help people get there financially? Well, and the, the biggest thing we see when we're working with families trying to find assisted living, memory care, uh, things like that, is that they are a little bit concerned because the pricing is sometimes a little bit higher than they expect, and they don't realize that there are plenty of resources out there. Um, and so that's one thing we try to do is really connect people with that. So if you're not going to be able to qualify for some of these services or the facility feels a little bit high based off your income, we try to connect people with those um, so they can afford it and can live kind of the best life and really have a good quality of life. And that's where we work with uh, Area Agency on Aging. We work with some of the other providers as well. So, so Liz, you're one of those providers Nick's yes. talking about. Talk about what the Area of Agency on Aging of Western Michigan does in our area. So area agencies on aging, if you picture a map of the United States, actually every county is covered under the umbrella of an area agency on aging. And the whole reason that they, they exist is to age your way with your local AAA, to be a resource for anyone who lives in that county if they're looking for information. What, uh, beyond information, what resources does the agency offer? Them? Really good question. Um, what area agencies on aging focus on is practical help in the home and practical help for caregivers, whatever that home may look like. For some, that's an apartment. For some, that's assisted living. For some, that is their home that they lived in their whole lives. Okay, so we, you basically make sure that they find the place and can afford the place and have everything in line. I mean, Medicare is involved here, right? I mean, they, you hear that brought up when you talk about assisted yep. living. You know, Medicare is a big thing, but then you also can qualify for Medicaid, the Medicaid waiver program. Ah, and yes. that program can really help offset some of those caregiver costs. And again, that they work through area agencies uh, to really help to, uh, area agencies are actually the ones responsible for qualifying them and making sure they meet the criteria. Is that a long process, Liz, uh, applying? Because a lot of times people who are in this, they're dealing with emotion. They're dealing with personal feelings. The paperwork and the forms and all of those things, sure they want to get a deal, they want to get the resource, the, the help. How difficult is it to do this stuff? I don't. I would say that as far as trying to qualify for in-home help, wherever that may be, really the burden is on the agency to assess, ask the questions, and see if someone qualifies for those programs. So it's really as simple as calling the number and saying. I'm considering this, want to ask some questions, could we do an over the phone screening or assessment? And that really is as simple as it gets as far as getting started. And then again, the burden is on the agency to do that assessment, to see if someone might qualify and where they might qualify and what that looks like. And a lot of times I think people feel like, well, things are hard at home and so I guess it's the nursing home for me, not realizing that there might be some intermediary steps yeah. of maybe I could receive some help where I am or some help in a new location, not realizing that it doesn't have to go from here all the way to here without some intermediary help. And that it could be, as you mentioned, as simple as a phone call. It could it's be. Just calling the number and getting that process started. So it's not too daunting to start this process. Yeah. Yeah. And there are a lot of communities out there that work with the area agency for the Medicaid waiver program so that they're able to, you can move in, you have a certain amount of time you have to private pay, but then if you dip below a certain level, area agency, if they're qualified, will come in and help offset some of that care. So, I mean, there's really a lot of hand-in-glove operation out there to really ensure that if you're moving to assisted living and maybe you don't have the finances mm -hmm. where you're right on the cusp, those resources are available to really help you maximize that. And is there a place we can go to find a list of these resources uh, from you, from Care Patrol, or is it something that we just kind of piecemeal it out? It really depends. Uh, the list is always changing. Mm -hmm. So we usually recommend um, that you talk to the providers. You go ahead and go to the servicers that are going to really make that determination. We know which communities do which don't, but the list is always changing, so we really try to, to stay in our lane. But the short story is, if you are in the market, if you're considering assisted living, there are great people and organizations like the one Liz works with that can help folks financially get into those places. From time to time, that works, and it's effective 
as we say, don't disqualify yourself. Give us a call and see what you might qualify mm -hmm. for. Um, absolutely. And of course, you can always check fox17morningmix.com for all the other pieces we've done on Care Patrol to see the amazing stuff that they offer. What a lifestyle uh, you could be living. Uh, they'll put you in the right spot. That's what they do. Care Patrol of Western Michigan, right there on Tahoe Drive. You can go to westernmi.carepatrol.com for more. Or, as you heard uh, our guests say, you simple phone conversation could start at all. 616-773-2085. Thank you so much, Liz. Thank you, Nick, for being here. Thank you. Absolutely. We'll be right back.